The Lions Site First Hospital in Hendala, Sri Lanka, has been in operation for many, many years. It's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce Mr. Mohan De Silva, who is the Vice President of the Lions Site First Hospital. Good morning and welcome to our program. Morning, Derek, and thank you for inviting me. Mohan, first of all, will you be able to tell our viewers how long is this uh, Site First Hospital has been going? Yes, uh, actually we started this uh, way back in uh, 2004 and uh, this is the 11th year in operation and uh, during this period uh, we have been able to carry out more than 13,000 cataract surgeries on deserving underprivileged individuals in all parts of Sri Lanka. Mohan, how does it work? Now if someone donates $30 does the Lions International contribute 90 US dollars for the operation? Uh, no, Derek. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this is how it works out. Um, uh, what we do is uh, we conduct uh, ICAMs in remote areas. We have uh, developed a team from the Site First Hospital itself, consisting of an uh, ophthalmologist, eye surgeon, and a couple of nurses who go and uh, conduct uh, uh, CAMs to detect cataract patients. So once they are detected, they are brought to the Hendala Hospital for surgery and when we find uh, that uh, uh, some are not able to uh, afford at all, we do completely free of charge. That money is funded by some of the Lions Clubs in Melbourne whom I work with uh, to start with uh, Lions Club of uh, Southeast Business Wheelers Hill, Lions Club of Dandenong Supper, Lands Club of uh, Dandenon Incorporated, Lands Club of uh, uh, Listerfield Business, and uh, the last to join the band was uh, Lands Club of Lindhurst. Uh, they provide uh, thirty dollars each, and also Scats. I must not forget Scats, who originally started helping us. Uh, so they contribute thirty dollars per patient, and the hospital funds the balance. But for patients identified. Uh, camps are funded by Lions Clubs International with $25 per patient. Mm. Actually, uh, surgery uh, costs us about uh, 10 to 11,000 rupees uh, depending on the number of surgeries that we do for a day uh, because uh, we have to pay the surgeons and administrative costs and running costs and so on. Uh, uh, only thing is uh, the funding from Lions Clubs International will stop from end of this year. Right. Yes, that's internationally uh, they're going to stop funding. Okay, now you being the past district governor, is that a lot of work uh, when you were the past district governor? Well, uh, during your tenure as district governor, uh, you have to sacrifice a lot of time, effort and energy. But once you're a past district governor, uh, your involvement is not that great. But uh, now that uh, we are involved with the running of a hospital, Particularly, uh, it's a fairly uh, time-consuming uh, effort and uh, uh, of course uh, we enjoy doing it because uh, we have a good set of uh, members as a board of trustees who are really dedicated and committed uh, to their task. Although we devote a lot of time and effort, uh, we derive uh, a lot of uh, satisfaction. Actually, you won't believe the happiness that uh, we get when we see their fa the patient's faces lighting up when the plaster is removed on the day after the surgery. Because actually uh, some people, they, uh, especially in the remote areas, they think that uh, uh, they get blind uh, as they age, that is uh, a natural thing. But when the cataract is removed and their vision is restored, they can't believe themselves. And it's so, so uh, joyful to, you know, I mean, see their faces and to talk to them. Uh, so that is why uh, most of the Lions Clubs who help us, uh, some of their members have visited the hospital and they have seen for themselves. You know, I mean, we believe that uh, we are changing lives of so many thousands of people and uh, performing miracles, in other words. Because as you know, uh, blindness uh, is the greatest tragedy next to death. Yeah. And restoring the vision of underprivileged people, uh, person is... Uh, something that is great and that is what we enjoy. Mohan will be able to briefly tell our viewers the exact location where this hospital is? Your, your elder brother was yeah. a member of our club, was a yeah. charter member and uh, you were born in Hendala 
and uh, this is uh, right opposite the leprosy hospital in Hendala. Uh, Mohan, I got to tell you, you know, I've been sort of so thrilled of the work you all do. And uh, as you know, very recently I did an event on the 19th of July and I was extremely lucky to get a line of known entertainers to do a show and uh, the show went extremely well and uh, we were managed to get a, uh, get a good collection for the hospital. Now we are, we are also in the process of doing a show in Sri Lanka in October. Do you think Lions Club uh, will be able to support us for this event? Definitely. Uh, as you know, I'm aware of uh, all the good work that you have put in and along with the other artists. Uh, I'm very grateful to you and all the artists who performed for this great course. And um, uh, the Sightfest Hospital Board of Trustees will definitely extend a helping hand to you to make uh, the show in Sri Lanka also a success. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be another good uh, show because uh, I'm in the process of taking few Australian performers along with all the famous Sri Lankan uh, uh, entertainers who's going to give me a hand. And I got a quite a big surprise for you. Uh, I don't know whether it's a quite a uh, good thing to do, but uh, I was very, very happy when I reached the goal which I wanted. And uh, I got to tell you, I got... Uh, uh, check for you, uh, Mohan, which works out to about 1.8 million rupees. That's uh, great, Derek. Uh, I must uh, actually uh, thank you wholeheartedly on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the hospital for these fantastic efforts. And uh, also thank uh, all those who attended the musical show. I, uh, of course, had uh, very good uh, reports about the show from some of our uh, friends who have uh, participated and uh, apart from enjoying the show uh, their contribution uh, towards this uh, great cause is uh, very well accepted and acknowledged so thank you very much for all your efforts and uh, i must also thank the uh, expected sri lankans as well as the australian communities who continue to support the hospital and the underprivileged uh, people in sri lanka Keep up the good work, Mohan, and let me wish you all the very best. Thank you, Derek. Thank you very much. Thank you.